Hi, welcome to another edition of Transcribing with the Music Transcriber. Today we'll be looking at a plugin I've written called Show Instrument Ranges. This plugin is currently available at the Sibelius Plugins download webpage. This plugin does one simple thing that is, show the instrument ranges for a selected instrument or all instruments within a score. I was actually requested to write this plugin by a fairly successful composer who uh, was, you know, she knew all of her ranges very well. Uh, you don't become a successful composer overnight, obviously, uh, without training and know-how. Um, but she writes for many different types of ensembles of all sizes, of all levels, and wanted to be able to reference instrument ranges within a score very quickly, not having to reference any external sources such as orchestration books or the internet or calling any old professors or anything of that sort. So she requested an inclusive plugin that would list the instrument ranges both professional and amateur uh, within Sibelius. So I wrote this plugin for her and it, uh, it does exactly that. So let's start off first by showing the instrument ranges for all of the instruments within a score. This may be uh, a little ridiculous in this case because we have such a large score. I actually opened the Sibelius uh, manuscript paper for uh, a orchestra modern, which is one of the largest. Um, but this should exhibit quite well uh, the plugins uh, capacity. So go to plugins, find where you've installed it, click on show instrument ranges. Now a dialog pops up. There's two parameters for this plugin. The first is to show the ranges for all instruments in the score, and the second to be to show the ranges for only the selected instruments. Since I haven't made a selection, let's click on the first, all instruments in the score, and click OK. The trace window pops up. For those of you who aren't familiar, the plugin trace window is a uh, window within Sibelius. Many plugins use it, uh, and it allows text to be listed within the program uh, to save users from the hassle of going to an external text editing program. You'll see that all the instruments are listed um, with both their professional and their high range. The first being the bass in B flat. The professional ra low range is A0, and the professional high range is A sharp or B flat 3. The comfortable low range is A0, and the comfortable high range is F sharp or G flat 3. The horn, which has no key, and this is this line here, no key, is just to differentiate between different types of instruments that are available within Sibelius. Uh, so this is the horn in F that does not have a key signature as opposed to the one that does. Um, and the professional low range is listed, the professional high range is listed, comfortable low range, and so forth. We keep going forward and the trombone is listed, the bass trumpet, all the instruments in the score um, with the uh, pitch and octave number. Now, let's go forward the flute, the oboes, the piccolo, and everything. Now let's do something a little different. Let's select just one staff. Say you were in the middle of writing the piccolo line and you can't quite remember how high um, a, an amateur piccolo player can go. So click on the staff, go back to your plugin, click on it, and this time choose selected instruments. And in the trace window, you will only see uh, the selected instrument. Now, in this case, it's good that we did that because while the comfortable low range is exactly the same as the professional low range, the comfortable high range is a minor third below what the professional high range is. Now, this would be very good to know if you were writing for a high school uh, band and uh, you were in the midst of the piccolo solo. Uh, it would be best not to go above A7. One last feature of this plugin is that it recognizes instrument changes. Now this is very good because imagine if we didn't have a flute staff in here. 
the uh, piccolo staff, I'm sorry. Let's delete the piccolo staff. So you go to your instrument window, and let's find our piccolo, and let's delete it from our score for now. It'll ask us if we really want to do that. We sure do. And we're going to create an instrument change. So imagine one of the flute players doubles on the piccolo. So we were notating it on the same staff. So go to create, go to other, and do instrument change. It'll ask us what type of instrument we'd like to change to. So let's find our woodwinds. They're at the top. Piccolo is the first one. Let's click OK. And now there's a piccolo change right here. And it does change back. So let's click on our staff. Let's go to back to our plugins. Click on show instrument ranges. And let's just do the selected instruments again. It catches any type of instrument changes that are present on the selected staff. So not only do we see what the flute range is, both professional and low, and comfortable, I'm sorry, but we also see the piccolo range. And this will save much time because uh, without this, we would have to create a staff for every instrument in the score, even if that instrument shared the staff with another instrument. Feel free to contact me with any questions, comments, or suggestions. I can be reached at Music Transcriber with an S <laughs> at yahoo.com.